everyone! So in today's video, I wanted to start a new series on this channel because due to this new format, I'm now able to properly make a book club video every single month. So the purpose of the monthly book club video would be to, on the first hand, announce the book for the next month, also give you an overview of what kind of books I read in the past month and give you a few recommendations in case you want some. So these are the books I read in April. This review is going to be spoiler free and in book reviews, I really dislike when people talk about the plot in particular. It's just my personal opinion on these books, as well as a few mentions about the themes, but I really don't want to reveal any spoilers. And I just want to make this video a very simple conversation of me trying to recommend a couple of books to all of you. So the first thing that I finished reading this month was Atomic Habits by James Clear. And by the time this video is going to be uploaded, I've already published a video all about this book and the major lessons you can find within these pages, so I will link that down below. Just very quickly, I want to say that I really enjoyed Atomic Habits. Um, concerning self-help books, I think it's really important for those books to be very substantial in the sense that they provide very clear instructions and a very clear process for you to understand the author's purpose better because I think that in some self-help books I find that they are a little bit too abstract and they give way too many examples and I'm not understanding what the author wants to say with the book and Atomic Habits is the exact opposite of that. James Clear writes in a very detailed way, but at the same time, it provides you with summaries throughout the book, as well as tables for comparison in the end of each chapter, like this one here, so you can really understand how his concepts and his ideas apply in a more practical sense. The second book I read this month was Americana, and I think that Americana is one of those contemporary books that I see everyone talking about. I was so engrossed by the story that I could not leave this book. First of all, I think that most of the characters were created to, on the one hand, portray the specific cultures they're trying to represent. So in a certain way, it can feel like these characters are almost stereotypes. They represent different parts of society, but they're very flawed characters. They have very specific and problematic flaws and I think it's wonderful when characters, especially when main characters have flaws because it makes the book way more realistic and it's very hard to portray a main character that is flawed because the author always thinks that the reader will not fall in love with the character because the character is not perfect but I think that in this specific case it works very well so Americana is highly recommended. After that, I read Essentialism. And once again, I'm sorry, there's a video that will come up next Friday, the 10th of May, and I will talk about some of the major lessons in Essentialism. However, I highly recommend you to read this book because just like Atomic Habits, it's one of those books where the author's message is very clear, it has very clear instructions, it's very simple to read, so please read it, I highly recommend it. It's a little bit like minimalism, but applied to more conceptual and abstract areas of your life, like your career, your relationship with people, and your academic path, your hobbies, your projects. After that, I read a young adult fiction book that's called Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. This book has earned so many awards, it's a very light read, but I cannot recommend this book enough. It does not disappoint whatsoever. The topics are really interesting. Some of them are very controversial. If you read the synopsis of the book, you know that. But I think it's like a mandatory read in our society. I absolutely recommend it as well. Afterwards, I read Deep Work by Kel Cole. Cal Newport. So I felt that Deep Work had a good premise and the good premise is basically that in order to produce good quality work you should focus more on your work. And doing that kind of focused work requires a very specific mindset like trying to at least isolate yourself a little bit from people, from noises. Uh, it also talks about quitting social media.
finally, the last book of the month was long overdue and it was Dune. I've always been a huge fantasy lover and most of my fantasy collection is actually at my parents' home. I didn't brought them with me to Lisbon. But although I was always a big fantasy lover, I never got into sci-fi that much. Like science fiction, spaceships, planets, Star Wars type of books. And I was talking with my brother who also loves fantasy books and he was telling me maybe you don't like sci-fi that much but you need to read Dune. And I think there's going to be a movie adaptation of the book and I really wanted to read it and Dune is absolutely impossible to leave. Although I think that the first day was quite hard because I had absolutely no clue of what was going on because I didn't know there was an appendix so I didn't understand the concepts they were talking about I wasn't understanding the plotline and then I found out there was an appendix and then everything started making sense I know that this is book one and there are other tons of books to read after that I cannot vouch for the quality of the other books in the series but I can vouch for the quality of book number one and if you're a fantasy or a sci-fi lover I think it's definitely worth a read. It's one of the best-selling books in the fantasy and sci-fi categories. And I definitely think you should read it, but please do not forget there's an appendix at the end of the book. You should read it first. Before I finish today's video, I want to announce the book for May. And it's going to be educated by Tara Westover. So without spoiling anything, because I always believe that book synopsis have spoilers in them. Educated is basically about the journey of a girl who lived in very complicated conditions in terms of family uh, and also I think in economic terms and she started studying on her own in order to overcome those obstacles and she actually succeeded in educating herself without the aid of any schools, of any tutors. So I picked this book for our book club first of all because it's a very well-regarded book in the book club community. And secondly, because I think that the theme of this book really fits into our community and the topic of this channel. So I think it's going to be very interesting to read and to comment at the end of May. Tell me down below what were your favorite books this month and I will be sure to add them to Goodreads. I'm very active over there. I'm always adding new books and updating people on my progress. Our book club is also hosted there if you want to participate. There's an exclusive part of the forum just for book club discussion. So I'll leave all the links down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!